The American Music Awards are coming up this weekend right here on Kagan 9 ABC. So let's get a recap of the nominees from our sizzling, sizzling Hollywood host, Stephanie Dunlap. So much going on for the awards. Absolutely. So they're this weekend. Yep. So I first want to talk about who's nominated and then also who's performing. So leading the nominations is Drake with 13 nominations. He has set the record. The last record was set by Michael Jackson back in 1984. So it's been a while. And then also runner up is Rihanna, who has seven nominations, followed by uh, Dell and Justin Bieber with five nominations. Also, others that are nominated include Beyonce, Carrie Underwood, The Weeknd, uh, The Chainsmokers. And so switching gears, we have those that are nominated and then performing is Maroon 5 featuring Kendrick Lamar. Also, Ariana Grande featuring Nicki Minaj, so a few duo performances to look forward to. Also, John Legend, Green Day, Lady Gaga, who announced the news actually over uh, Twitter when her album was released, yeah. which came out a few weeks ago called Joanne. So I'm sort of expecting that she's going to be showing some of her music from that album. So that's something to look forward to. Now also, this award show in particular, it's the fans voting. So there are still days left, so you can still vote once per day at amavote.com. Or, of course, you can just watch the award show on Sundays on ABC here on Kega 9. You know, what I'm looking forward to is seeing the awkwardness between Drake uh, and Riri since we know they kind of had a thing. At the last award show we saw them at, now they're split up. That's right? going to be all the awkward. I love the And, of awkward. course, they both have the most nominations, so we'll see a lot of them. We'll see who <laughs> wins the most out of that night. That's, That's really true. the winner in the breakup between That's the true. two. Uh, but another winner, uh, Jackie Chan, which we haven't heard about a lot lately, but a big news coming out about him. Jackie Chan is an Oscar winner. Yeah. He won an honorary Oscar over the weekend at the Governor's Awards, and it was presented by Chris Tucker, Michelle Yeoh and Tom Hanks and Chris Tucker said he is a living legend and on stage Jackie Chan said I've broken so many bones finally this is mine <laughs> which is hilarious he's been over 200 movies over yeah. 56 years and I know that a lot of his movies are more action and yeah. comedy so not very Oscar-esque but I mean over 200 films he started his career at the age of five so I think very well deserved I think a lot of people will agree with you uh, but we can't do uh, entertainment news without some kind of baby news right Right, Pink is going to be a mom yeah. again. Again. Yes, she uh, posted the photo on Instagram and it's an adorable photo of her and her baby bump and then her daughter Willow hugging her and they're wearing matching outfits and then afterwards her husband also posted the same photo and I think that, you know, she is just, I mean, she has an album coming out next year along with having a baby. So it's going to be such a great year for Pink. Congratulations to her. I know, to her and Carrie Hart. And uh, she posted that picture and I was like, whoa, where did that baby bump just come from? It oh, was I like, know. she was hidden and she brought it out at just the right time. And she had, she's been with her husband over a decade. Yeah. So 10 years and her daughter is five years old. So another addition to the family. I know, super cute. Let's hit some uh, holiday music before I let you go. Yes, yeah, so if you're anything like me, I mean, I'm one of those people that can listen to holiday music for three months straight, <laughs> AKA a whole year and never get sick of it. Right. So if you're like me, then get excited because there's a lot of holiday music coming out or coming out in the next week or two. Those include Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood, a duo album, Neil Diamond, Jimmy Buffett, uh, Reba McIntyre. Also, we have, um, who else is coming out? We have. Uh, I got more to this list. Pentatonics, Jane Lynch, I think. Pen and Tonic, yeah. which I'm very excited about. It's an a cappella band. Yep. And uh, Jane Lynch from Glee. Yeah. Now, that's, that's an interesting one, a swing in Christmas. No, I think she could do whatever she wants. She's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Pen and Tonics, I have to go back to that. There's going to be a cover on that album called Hallelujah, which is um, a cover song from Leonard Cohen, who yeah. passed away last week. So I do want to give a shout out to Leonard Cohen. Rest in peace. He is an amazing artist. Well, we have all that Christmas music to look forward to. Uh, a lot of people that are, kind of take advantage of this time of year and come out with some stuff. So mm -hmm. we'll look forward to that. Now, if you guys want even more information, Stephanie has you covered. For more Stephanie's entertainment updates, make sure to follow the CW Tucson on Facebook and on Twitter.